This video was brought to you by Indently.io. Learning Python made simple. How's it going, everyone? In today's video, we're going to be covering another new feature that we got in Python 3.13. And this is the replace function that was included in the copy module. So to show you how it works, I'm first going to import from typing a named tuple, then from data classes, the data class, and finally from copy, I'm going to import replace. And once again, this feature is so new that Python or actually PyCharm does not really recognize it at the moment. It's still going to work as long as you're using Python 3.13, but unfortunately you're probably going to get these red squiggly lines. Anyway, for the first example, we're going to be using a data class and we're going to freeze it. So we're going to have a frozen data class. In other words, we're going to be using an immutable object. So first we're going to type in at data class, set frozen to true, so we can't change any of that data. Then we're going to type in class item, and this item is going to contain a name of type string and a cost of type float. Now we can create something useful such as a cup, and that's going to be of type item, which will equal an item with the name of cup and the value of 10 currency. But now imagine you want to copy this cup. Well, one way to do it would be to actually create a whole new variable, or actually, what am I even saying? We can just import copy, and we can say that golden cup of type item equals copy cup. And just like that, we'll be able to copy this cup. If we were to print the cup and the golden cup, you'll see that we're going to have two different cups. Well, actually, that doesn't really prove it, so I'm going to print the ID of both. But just like that, you'll see we're going to have two different IDs for each one of these cups because they are different cups. But now imagine you want to copy the original item while applying some changes to the fields. At this point, if you wanted to copy cup and change this to maybe 100, you would have to create a new cup because this is immutable. Now, regardless of anything, we still need to create a new cup, but now we can do it a lot more easily using the replace method. So instead of copy, we're going to replace cup, which is going to create a copy. And here we can pass in some key value pairs for the values that we actually want to update or for the fields that we want to update. For example, we can set the cost here to 100 when we copy this cup. Now I'm going to copy the cup and the golden cup once again. And what you're going to notice is that with the golden cup, we're going to have the value updated. It's still immutable, so we can't change it during the lifetime of our program. For example, if we type in goldencup.cost and we were to change this to 1000, you'll see that, that the property cost is read only because this is immutable. We have frozen the data class. But like this, we were able to copy the original item and apply that change to one of the fields. Now, in this case, I also would want to update the name. So I'm just creating a new object in the end and say that this is a golden cup. Very important. And when we run this, you'll notice that the new item actually contains this information. Anyway, let's create one more example using a named tuple, which is another immutable type. So here we're going to create a class called point, and that's going to inherit from named tuple. Then we can type in x of type float and y of type float. Now point one of type point is going to equal a point with the values of x equals one and y equals two. Now, once again, this point is immutable, which means we cannot change it at any point during the lifetime of our program without creating a new object from it. So if we actually want to create any changes to this, we either need to create an entire new point or copy it and replace the fields. Now with copy, that's quite simple. All we need to do is type in point two, type point equals replace, and we want to replace point one and set X to, I don't know, five, so that the next time we print point two, and point one, we're going to get two different points without having to do that much extra work. Now, one thing I want to stress, which is incredibly important, is that replace only performs a shallow copy. So if you had a list inside one of these fields or you had a reference type inside one of these fields, it's not going to deep copy that list. It's only going to copy the reference. And in case you're curious about what that means, just search for deep copy versus copy. These two methods are completely different, but are worth knowing about if you ever want to perform a deep copy in Python. Anyway, that just about covers everything I wanted to cover in today's video. Do let me know in the comment section down below whether you have any further questions or comments regarding this video. But otherwise, with all that being said, as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.